heading towards uh, Damrell's Motorcycles uh, to have a look at the new Royal Enfield Gorilla if it's there. Now in Cornwall we have a habit of being a bit behind everywhere else in the country so I'm not 100% confident. Uh, but if they have, I'll get to sit on it, hopefully, see whether it will fit me, as if I can actually ride it. Because I've been having trouble with even low uh, seat bikes with the placement of the side stand, which is sometimes inaccessible. Let's see what, the, what uh, that bike's like. And if not, I'll just do a general mooch round and um, look at the bikes they do have. One thing I am thinking about for the uh, cooler riding season is perhaps buying heated gloves. I normally get uh, heated grips, but I'm just not fancying the idea of whipping these ones off and putting on uh, different ones because it's quite a fiddly thing to do. It's not impossibly difficult, as even an idiot like me can do it. But if heated gloves will do the job, and I think that's what I'll plump for because I imagine the price is now roughly comparable. Gordon Bennett. There's some potholes there. So here we are arriving at Damrolls. See if there is a gorilla there. Or if there's no gorillas, we'll just have a look round. I might talk about some other things. And uh, here is the Royal Enfield Gorilla in the showroom. I must admit, it is slightly disappointing because I couldn't really get close to it. Uh, either the one in the middle or the one in the corner. But I did get an impression of the bike, which is of it is very Royal Enfield, but just with a modern twist, normal. Uh, shocks at the front of forks that is uh monoshock at the back which is uh, a step forward in some ways and uh, perhaps good for the shorter rider because they're a little bit more easy to adjust for ride height there's the usual plastic excrescence at the rear it sort of flows quite well not too many sharp jagged lines single clock at the front have yet to see how that works uh price is very reasonable 4999 on plus on the road uh, indicators are slim and not too ugly so overall this is a bike you can get straight on and ride uh, matte black finish and uh, I did eventually manage to get on the bike and have a sit and yes I could reach the ground so it's doable for, for me to do a test ride which is one I'll be doing next getting that sorted with uh, down rules and thanks to them in advance grab handles at the back uh, and adjustable levers at the front uh, the general has high standard these days of Royal Enfield. Okay, so that was Damrolls and that was uh, the Royal Enfield Gorilla. Uh, didn't really get a fantastic look at it. I did get to sit on it and I can just about ride it. it does feel a bit tall for its 780mm uh, stated seat height, but I think you can get around that. So um, it's doable. I'm going to book a test ride. Tell you what I think about it. Anyway, that's me done for today. I've been Andy, or Captain Clumsy, from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. So, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, and uh, where I'm going, are you going to come with me? See you then. Bye for now. And one last thing, thank you for watching this uh, short video about the Royal Enfield Gorilla. If you like this sort of content and want to see more of it, please do like, comment, and above all, subscribe. Thank you.